it feels like a free rins age since I've had an Odyssey headphone on my desk that I've given 100% recommendation for. And yet, here we are. That's the music I made that announcement to. With the MM100s. The Manny Maraquin MM series with the biggest, stupidest bag I've ever seen. Like, this is for a motorcycle helmet, not a headphone. You can fit four headphones in this bag, I guarantee you. This is a black bag for when you go to Mexico and the drug lord is like, I'm taking you with me. This is the bag they'd use. And you'd be so happy with it. It's so soft. Ah. Oh. Hi, I'm Zeos Pantera. Support me on Patreon and Subscribe Star. Ten dollars a month, you get into a private behind the scenes Telegram chat. Where you can ask me questions directly. Or for five dollars a month, see the reviews early. Participate in yard sales and get into a monthly Q and A. Anyway, where the answers from the last months are always free. Anyway, uh, this, this, these. What took what what took them so long? I know these are not the 500s. Everyone's like, where's the 500s? And I don't have the 500s. So hopefully, I'm going to just stroke that shaft just right and the 500s will show up. Because these are the most pleasant Odyssey headphone ever. And I know that a lot of you are like, wait, Zeos, what, does that mean it has resolving detail? What about the, uh, how does it measure? Shh. Pleasure. Pleasure, pleasure, pleasant, pleasant pleasure. Don't name your daughter pleasure. Someone named their daughter pleasure. She is going to be a stripper. Ah. These are not just unoffensive, but capable, smooth, warm, nice, planar. $400. I don't know if that's a bullet point, but it is. I just, and it's it's not, so here's the thing. I'm coming off an A90D, granted, balanced, because the wire, we'll talk about the wire, but I had this on the tube. I had this on a fucking tube, but TA66 is running. And I'm like, god damn, why are they so smooth on there? And it's a planar, I shouldn't even work on a planar. It's not a hybrid, it's a straight tube. I legit love, love these? Do I... Do I love... No, can I say I love them? I don't fucking know. I just want to listen to music on them. All right. Build, fit, finish, and purpose before we get to the, to the gushing of the sound and then also these are here. And if you think I'm going to try all these fucking uh, Dakoni pads, which are specifically for Odyssey Compacts, um, you're insane because they're all glued on and I'm not ungluing these because it's literally like, no, no, stop. Odyssey, stop. All right, build. Fan-fucking-tastic. Like, like really, like now, like this is, this is the future of Odyssey stuff. It's interesting because you can actually see the wire travel up this side and go through the hole there. And then this has like a weird adjustment system where you actually have to pop the leather off of the pegs, which are just screws, and then pick your holes, brah. And in my particular case, uh, unfortunately, because of my OCD, or not OCD, but just like I'm a particular guy, it's like, well, it's middle holes here and then bottom holes here because you can't, if I do them both, it's too much. If I do only one, it's too little. So it's got to be bottom holes here and there. Um the headband and it also has like a pad even though it's got a strap it's also got a pad up here and you can feel the wire going across underneath it and then this is just nice a nice piece of metal it's so smooth and futuristic feeling it feels like the future it feels like quality from the future and and then the the, the backs are like there's no sharpness to this it's like a real company made it a real good company and then let's unplug that wire because this wire I got. This is a periapt cable. This is the also linked to periapt. This one is specifically for my T60 Argons. It's balanced four pole here and to a full size XLR. The wire this headphone comes with is a giant quarter inch, like like, and not only is it a giant quarter inch, that's how much uh, a heat shrink they put in it for like strain relief. So it's big, she big, and she's long. Like, I don't know, what is this, like, three meters? 
It's like three meters long. That's nine feet for us Americans. And it, it terminates in a standard 3.5. And then you get that. So you could plug this in. I'll plug it in. There. And you could plug it in. And you have dual entry points, just like your mom. Um, I wish she has three entry points. I'm not going to get into it. Anyway, you get to pick left or right. Because in all the, the, the paperwork and things, they're showing people in studios using this. Take your studio anywhere. And I don't fucking think... No. These are not neutral enough for studio use. These are too good. Studio headphones can be very, very nice to listen to. Uh, example one, the Sony MDR's 7570... Oh, shit, I can't remember the, the model number of those. I'm having dementia right now. Sony MDR 7503... No, CD900 STs. Boom. I actually read it because I have really good vision. Um, and those can be fun. You change the pads. You, they have a little bit of, of, of something going on. You throw a little bass on the tubes. But these these are too smooth. Nothing you mix would ever come out. They would all just be as smooth. It's fine. You just start adding more treble. It come out harsh. So, yeah. Um, some of the best built things Odyssey's ever made. None of that loose fucking wire nut shit was coming off. And you got to tighten it. And I, I've been through the fucking lot with odyssey and then like i did the lcd fives and i shit all over them the company president was like what are you saying and i'm like i'm saying what i think and i don't know i'll take full i'll take full credit if that review caused them to put these out because it's been that long um but holy crap who the hell is manny Marquette? i have no idea um so dual entry so you could switch left or right they don't mention it anywhere on there, but I took the balance cable for my Argons and I put it through and works just fine. So they don't seem to sell it and there's no option, at least on their page. This is Odyssey's direct page. It's also on headphones.com. I don't see a choice to like pick a different cable. And I, I try to read at, like like through the thing and just like, like I, tell me why, like tell me why. Studio trusted. Oh, for whose studio? What are you doing with it? Because I feel like th I feel like that isn't a thing. I feel like plain artists in the studio isn't a thing. You let me know, all right? You know way more than I do about music production. I'm just some asshole on the internet. Let's look at these fucking headphones that I'm going to give a goddamn full recommendation to a little more. So I, I like, look at, the, like, just, like, that is beautiful. This is beautiful. This is beautiful and smooth and turns and and locks so you get you get goes down on your shoulder blades or it locks like this which is actually the opposite of what Eris does unless you're wearing Eris backwards which can be done it's a beautiful thing here it's smooth up here the leather strap is nice if it's leather is it are you leather you almost feel too nice to be leather which is that's an odd statement to make and then the pads are good really good like like plush and firm and you can feel there's like a thickness to them like up here it feels like they feel like they must have put like a rubberized foam right under this and then the soft foam under that and so Dakoni sent me i told them i had this and they sent me all these and they have the elite sheepskin the elite hybrid and the elite velour and i'll link all three of them in the description but this is not a paid sponsorship unless you count sending me the pads and then i look at them and i go oh no Oh no. And they've they've done an amazing job. They've got the hard plastic in here. They've got this felt around here. It's all adhered. And then you, you're supposed to peel this off and replace with these. And the problem I have is that I usually will do this when a headphone is meh. When I when I listen to it, I'm just like, you know what? I wonder if it had more bass. And then I'd be like, oh sheepskin. But these already are sheepskin, so you're just going with like a little bit thicker. Actually, quite a significant amount of thickness. That looks like about 30% thicker. So maybe more soundstage if you got the Elite Sheepskins. I don't know. I don't like that guess anymore with pads because, well, Dakoni taught me that with that Bear Dynamic video, which, pff, fucking nightmare. Um, so I don't know what the hybrids or the Velours would do. Would this, like, suck out all the bass? But it, all right. Fuck, fuck, great. Link to those. If you want to try them, try them. Just know you have to peel off. Oh, I ain't doing it. I ain't doing it. 
I'm usually the bravest man when it comes to like, oh, fucking headphones, watch me do this. I'll just twist it around. But these are like, I don't, I don't want to hurt them. They're doing too good a gerb. So build quality, uh, stellar, best they've ever done. Better than the fucking, than their, man, that guy. You know, him, whatever the hell his name was. Hold on, I'm blanking out. Where is... That has to be... Maxwell. I can never... It's not a good name. Maxwell is not a good name. Maxwell's what you name your ugly dog. Oh, that's Maxwell. Come here, Max. And it's, uh, it's not the name of a gaming head says a Maxwell. Come on, get fucking over yourself. Anyway, those are a good, very very good headphone. And they're, they're self-powered and they do amazing... But these sound better. These just... These are actual... These are real headphones. These are actual real headphones. And they're planar. Like, look, look at that planar. Look at that thin microfiche over the front of them. And you put them on, and like, like, oh, that's that's a linear clamp, and that's smooth. And then they, f once you get the thing adjusted, they fit. And I can still hear everything. They're like zero sound blockage. And I mean, it doesn't matter what I'm plugged into. Currently, we're here. X base because why the fuck not? Without X base, why the hell not? Like they just it sounds Oh my god, we're back to like more airy classical fucking music. It's just What is this is like these are like Chris It's September. It's early September. That is European night, which is F. Mendelshawn, Uf Flugen des Krishanis. I don't know. It sounds like Christmas. These feel like Christmas. They feel like shopping in a very fancy, quiet mall at Christmas time, where everything like the snow is falling and your your family's there and it's all warm. These feel like a warm, cuddly fucking Christmas fucking night. That's dumb. I should just quit my job as a reviewer. Fuck. Put that on your resume. They're just so nice. They're the least offensive Odyssey headphone I've ever listened to. I might like these more than LCDX. And I haven't heard LCDX. I'll be honest. LCDX has been off my radar for a couple of years now. But I remember why I like that. Remember my argument for it. Remember the $2,000 television argument. Everyone loves to bring that up. They weren't as nice as these. I have this fetish. No. I have this fetish for nice things. Things that aren't going out of their way to prove that they're the best. All right? And I love my tungstens. But tungsten still steps into the fucking heavyweight boxing championship ring to take on Mike Tyson. He wants the champ. Ty they want the champ. Uh, DMS Omega is his neutral baby over there. And he's going for it. He wants... He wants to be the best of everything. Uh, my heiress doesn't even know what boxing is and just sits on the couch with his hands, all hands, eight hands out his pants, playing with himself because it just it's relaxed. It doesn't want to, It doesn't fight that fight. These are not fighting that fight. These are not trying to be the best headphone in the world. And oh, by the way, they're four hundred dollars. These are just being themselves. They're being fucking nice. They're being just, just a pleasurable, soft, warm... Like, the playlist is shuffling 27,000 songs. And it keeps bringing up these, like, classical music, like, just open, airy, beautiful pieces of music. Now, if we keep shuffling, eventually I'll get to, like... Okay, now Evangelion's playing. Like, the dramatic, like, oh my god, angels are coming to kill us. And it still sounds nice. And I know nice isn't a frequency response graph. I know you can't, I can't show you the measurements of nice and tell you the total amount of distortion of what nice sounds like. But that's what this human fallibility is all about. It's, I interpret the sounds coming out of these as just softer, warmer, smoother than like the other seven headphones I had to review this fucking month. They're just, 
it's just fucking nice. There's, it's like I'm stepped back. It's like, it's like you walked in front of some really, really great speakers. And it's like, you know what? This is great. Now just push them back. Turn the volume down a little bit. Even if you turn the volume up on these, you, t we're spiritually turning the volume down on it. And just chill the fuck out. Just chill the fuck out. Oh, and then that bass note was just like, boom. And that's without X bass on here. Hold on, we're going to take you out of here. Uh... And now on an even better amplifier, which I'm going to suck this army's dick off its body. Um, it's just smoother. Oh, wait, I got to go back to my to my lord and say the lord and savior of this fucking thing, because this is what blew my mind, because I hadn't tested it on tubes before this period of like, all right, it's under review these. Cause I, I use them on other things. But I'm like, all right, I'll warm up the TA-66. I had it warmed up for DMS's Omega. I'll warm up for this. It'll do it. And then... Usually, because it's a, it's a planar, and they're low impedance, and I don't actually know what the fucking impedance are for the... Scroll? Doesn't tell me the impedance anywhere. Wait, there it is. 18 ohms. 18 is nothing. Like, Eris and Omega are 32, and they still get a little weird on a straight tube. These are 18. And I feel like they're getting weird on the tube, but in the best way fucking possible. The tube is just like, it's unharshified it even more. It's just, it's just... I am also feeding that, by the way, with the R2R version of the Fio K11, just in case you want to take notes. It's exacerbated. The tube is... Ex a, a tube amp on an 18-ohm planar is exacerbating the smoothness. Nothing here makes sense. Is there a goblin inside my fucking laptop? Because the Free Run soundtrack just hit up, and Fear brought me this far, just like... I've never taken the headphone off and put it on the camera so many times. Like, it's, it's like the stars are aligning to make me love this fucking headphone. So you have a headphone that you love for its smoothness, and its, deli its delivery of sound is just liquidly good. Melted chocolate, right? A warm Christmas fucking evening. And then you throw it in a tube, which shouldn't work at all. Zero. It should, it should be all a fucking mess. And then you just keep putting on fucking heartwarming, amazing orchestral song after orchestral song. And it's just it's fucking amazing. It's a great fucking experience. If you haven't seen Free Run, just watch the first episode. If after the first episode, you don't want to watch it, you don't have to watch it. But that first episode that's 23 minutes long feels like two hours and like a Lord of the Rings prequel. And you cry. You cry from a single episode. You don't even know these people yet. I just... I, 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 don't, I don't get it. I don't fucking get it. All right, I'm unplugging that. I'm going to turn that down so I don't short anything out. I'm going to put this here. They're going to take up the cursed adapter. This is the cursed adapter. No one should use this. I only take it to shows because it's small and convenient. But that's a lot of stress on a 4.4. So don't use this in your day-to-day. DD Hi-Fi makes great stuff, though. So now I get to pick either side. Go in there. And now we're going to go into the army again, but balanced... And it almost rests on the table. It's just not quite resting on the table. I want to give it just like one or two or ten more or more hours of listening. Uh, let's lower that because it's going to be louder. And I'm going to shuffle again. Led Zeppelin, Celebration Day. Skipping ahead. Like, I know for a fact I dislike most of Led Zeppelin. I um, completely legally purchased it years ago because I thought my dad liked Led Zeppelin. And years and years and years ago, I did that. And he was like, no, nah, I'm not really into them. 
I'm like, well, fuck. I'm not going to delete all this stuff I just purchased for money. Uh, I guess I'll keep it. And so it comes up, and there's just hundreds of songs. It's like 250 songs. And they're mostly shit. Um, but the ones like that are famous, like you still listen to. But I'm listening to Celebration Day, and let's go down one. Where's where's one? We'll go down one, and we'll just hit next track. It's another Celebration Day. Let's, let's go to a... Let's go to a Oh, I fucking lost it. I lost it. Anyway, but I'm just saying, Led Zeppelin, I don't like the way it sounds. It sounds like an old recording. And it didn't sound old. That's how I know these are not for the studio. These are actually fixing the terrible music. None of my music sounds bad. And I have bad music in this playlist. Like, actually just poorly recorded cheap sounding just like oh is this an mp3 96k and every time I, sh I change tracks it sounds beautiful this is some meze lyric one shit right here all right that was a two thousand dollar headphone and closed back and by meze and this is odyssey this is like lcd3 make me want to gag and stab my eyes out odyssey pulled this off or is this Manny Marroquin, a guy who's tuning this? Because he's God mode at this point, then. Yellow's The Race is playing. And that's not an orchestral track, but... This is a sip and... You sip brandy and smoke a cigar out of this fucking headphone. I am about to commando. And am I a... Yeah, everything I play in it just sounds fucking amazing. It sounds like it's fixing my music. It's... 100% recommendation. And you can balance it if you order a special cable. Um, I tried to use my um, Magia cable in both sides. It doesn't work like that. It has to... It would need to probably be... Because what it's doing is... When you use a regular 3.5, these are combined. And then it's left and right. And then the negatives are there. So now it's left and right, and the negatives are here, but individually left and right negatives. So you'd have to get a special wire, which apparently, I don't think they sell it. Maybe they sell it separately, but it's not on the page. And then you could still just do this. And you know what? I'm not even, like, put, like, they're, they're pretty fucking efficient. That's the same place I keep all the headphones I'm testing. It's in the low, the low 20s, which means you could portable these, and they'll fold flat. And you'll need a case that's not a, a giant head-sized bag. I am entirely encased inside this bag now. You and me, camera. We're in this together. What? What? I swear to God. What? What was this idea? I could put the entire box that the thing came in in the bag that it came in, and not even the narrow way, the fat way. Like that's wrong. But I'll take it. I love these. I don't give numbers in this channel. That's the I am thing. I give I give nines out of tens, tens out of tens. Even because it's like four hundred dollars is is not nothing. Four hundred dollars is not a nothing amount of money. And I should hate it because it comes with a quarter inch. It's stupid and dumb. And you're gonna hate it too. But you you know what you can get? A fucking aux cable. Any aux cable will make this just a three point five and not this. And then you have the capability of going to like periapt and ordering this style cable for balanced. And you can get a, a this to a 4.4 and you can go portable and it's so fucking well built and it looks good and it sounds smooth as shit. Yeah, it's, it's, a, it's a buy. This is a buy. It's a buy, buy, buy. And if you want to try, if you want to, if you get them, definitely get them first, use them and they'd be like, all right, Am I curious? I'd be most curious about the Elite Sheepskin. Just for that little added depth. Because I feel like that would be similar to the sound, which I'm in love with. And just give me maybe more soundstage. These other two are the risky clickies of the group. I don't know what they will do or what they'll do it to. But you're going to find out, aren't you? Um, yeah, I have to stop. I was not expecting to fall in love with these as hard. Like, I had listened to them previously. But not like took them out and spent any like real time with them i listened to them like all right they work Ugh. these are fucking great these deserve all the praise and manny if you're out there thank you 
Now I got to hear the 500s because, or do I, or do I? Because I feel like, the, I, I think I've heard the 500s at shows. No one ever plays the 100s at shows. Those are my favorite Odyssey headphones. Patreon subscribe star again supports this channel. See your views early, participate in yard sales, hear losses, sound demos like the ones for this headphone, and uh, get into a monthly Q and A to ask me questions. If you want to see the responses? Those are free. Ten dollars a month, uh, ten dollar Patreon chat. Ask me questions all the goddamn time directly. And if you're in there, you get into a lifetime swap me channel to buy, sell, and trade gear. Uh, check out the Hi-Fi Guides forums. Uh, I just, thank you for supporting this channel. Wallpapers in the horde. That's just it's nice. It's a nice wallpaper. She's a cat girl. It's great. Just as he's a great smooth tube. I don't know what else to say. No one's talking about the MM100s, and they fucking should be. And if you don't like the way these sound, if these sound to you the way they sound to me, and I just don't have special eyes or ears, um, and you're just like, no, that's not my sound, what the fuck is wrong with you? It doesn't have to be what you think you want. But you have to accept it anyway. It's like hoping to get fucking Chipotle, but Chipotle's closed. So you end up at another fucking place. And it's like, what is this, a Peruvian restaurant? Do I want to eat here? I went to Chipotle. And then you get this Peruvian food. And it's the most amazing fucking meal you've ever fucking had. But you're like, but it's not Chipotle. Shut the fuck up. It's time to learn to enjoy the Peruvian food. All right? That's that's what people miss in this fucking thing. They're all, like, focused. Like, oh, there's the Chipotle that I want. My order, I want to get my special rice and beef. No. Fuck you. Try the Peruvian food and try to enjoy it. That's what this is. I think I should stop making reviews for tonight. What do you think? <laughs>